Thank you for being here. Hi, hi. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> yeah. I didn't start eating dinner until the dinner was already again. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm glad I finally got to catch a, a Mori train. That was fun. That was fun. Hi Bones. <clears throat> it's seven months. Heck yeah. <laughs> so my my sore throat went away. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, it went away like yesterday evening, afternoon, which is good because I, I didn't want to cancel ASMR, but, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Nobby, my dear. Thank you for being here. You want some smooches? Okay. Smooches, thank you for the redeem, Navi. I hope those were okay for you. My lips are a little dry because the AC has been on like all day. It is. Hi, <laughs> <I> Nimbus. <laughs> hey, dear, how are you? Overdoing okay. Good to see you. Um, yeah, the AC has been on all day, so I think it, it has been. My hands are starting to chap. My, my lips. <laughs> that emote is so cute. That is a cute emote. You guys eat today? You guys eat today? Alright. What did I eat today? <laughs> My sister made some orange chicken. Uh, it was just uh, frozen orange chicken that you heat up in the oven or whatever, but it was okay. I wasn't a big fan of the chicken's texture personally. I don't remember what brand it was. I don't think it was a big brand. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're big in the land of frozen orange chicken. <laughs> Maybe. How are you, Navi? I hope you're doing okay. It's good to see you, Estrella. Always good to see Estrella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or was it a stinky sheep? Obviously, well, it's just not stinky, right? You should. You, you said you showered today, Estrella. So I imagine you're not. You're not stinky. Chicken too nice. 
check is good. <laughs> we had uh, chicken sandals for dinner. It's a it's a recipe I got with uh, one of my HelloFresh boxes when I had HelloFresh. Um, and uh, it's probably the one we eat the most. Uh, just because uh, they're really good sandwiches. <laughs> they're really good. But you you uh, you get some some hoagies or whatever buns you want. Really, um, doesn't matter too much. But uh, um, you uh, you melt some butter with and then uh, mix it up with some garlic powder. Then you spread that on uh, the insides of the buns. Then you put those in the oven to toast for a few minutes. Um, when you do that, you put you uh, you uh, cook some green onions and onions in the pan <laughs> with uh, salt and pepper. Then you uh, take those out of the pan, and then you uh, cook some chicken with uh, Italian seasoning. That's what we use. I think the HelloFresh recipe calls for a specific thing that uh, we just replicate with Italian seasoning. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you uh, you were at the Kunabi. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, cook some chicken in the pan, or uh, we just use frozen chicken pieces because it's easier than uh, cooking raw chicken. It's faster. <laughs> Um, then you uh, you dump a bunch of uh, well you put some water in the pan so it doesn't you know burn the chicken and then because uh, you just want the chicken to cook through because it's already it's pre cooked frozen chicken but anyway you put telling seasoning on that then you dump back in the veggies till that's all heated through warmed up and then uh, you uh, toast the sandwiches toast the bread. And you uh, you mix uh, five spoonfuls of or, or six spoonfuls of mayo, and then four spoonfuls of sour cream with uh, some uh, some garlic powder, uh, two a teaspoon and a half. Same with the with the butter. It's like six tablespoons of butter with a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. It's, they are delicious. <laughs> um, they're very good. They're super good. Um, and uh, so you mix up the mayo and uh, sour cream with the, some onion powder, uh, not onion powder, garlic powder. And then when the sandwiches are toasted after a minute or two, and they have to take those out, take them out, and then you uh, slather the bottom half of the bun with the, the mayo uh, sour cream sauce. And then uh, you uh, put on the uh, fillings with the, the chicken and the veggies. And then on top of that, you put on uh, Italian blend shredded cheese, or uh, we used uh, mozzarella today. And uh, a lot of cheese. You put, put as much cheese as you want on it. It makes it be it's better. <laughs> um, and then you put it back in the oven until the cheese melts, and then you eat it. And it is a pretty good sandwich. <laughs> They're pretty good sandwiches. They're pretty yummy. That's what we had for uh, dinner today. Fill my water after stream is about it's about empty. Yeah. Um. So I spent most of the day 
uh, getting uh, Thursday's VOD split up so I can upload it in chunks to YouTube because you can only upload up to 12 hour long videos to YouTube if you're not verified. <coughs> Something like that. Um, so I just cut it in half it with the highlighter. Um, probably get um, I'll probably do uh, a donathon day two uh, on Wednesday or Tuesday I'll probably do it on Tuesday um, but uh, so Thursday's VOD should be up sometime soon is <coughs> excuse me but take you forever to uh process on YouTube so uh, they'll be up when they're when they're ready the first half of uh, day one was is just me playing through uh, half-life opposing force because it was about um, almost seven hours um, we did take a break to eat uh, in the middle of that for the, at the two-hour mark anyway <coughs> So the um, second part of the VOD is going to be Temtem and uh, the uh, pack openings. So, yep, yeah, and we didn't beat Temtem. <laughs> we didn't finish Temtem. Um, so, <laughs> I have to play more Temtem. Um, probably do this week's schedule get that set up oh sorry about that <laughs> to uh, crank my neck Yeah, I had a lot of fun with these uh, three hour, twelve hour, three twelve hour streams. I really did. I mean, I didn't play. <laughs> so yesterday we did uh, slime rancher, slime rancher, <laughs> slime rancher, and uh, death road to Canada. I didn't play death road to Canada in a in a long time, so that was fun to uh, revisit uh, on stream anyway. I've never played on stream before then, either. Um, then the, the Warhammer stuff took us longer than I was uh, expecting to. I, th I thought we would just build the, the big guys from the box, but uh, we just built everything. <laughs> took us about to the 12, yeah, it took us about just about to the 12 hour mark. Uh, from the 6 hour mark? 7 hour mark? Maybe <laughs> something like that. All right, let's get this week's schedule set up before I forget. So tomorrow, uh, we'll play uh, Mass Effect.
then Tuesday, uh, <coughs> uh, we'll play Temtem. I'm very excited to finish Tim Tim. Because <laughs> then uh, we can play <laughs> Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which I am very excited about. Streams later this week <coughs> may be subject to change because uh, Libra asked me if I wanted to play uh, Master Duel with her sometime. So we're going to play together tomorrow just in a call as a vibe check, which I think is a pretty decent idea. I've never done that before. <coughs> and uh, sorry, I'm clearing my throat a lot. I just ate. <laughs> like, I just finished eating before I started the stream. So. So it's a little gunky, I apologize. Um, but I think Thursday, it's been a while since we've played it, so I think Thursday we'll play Truck Sim. I think Thursday we'll play Truck Sim. Also need to uh, I just need to figure out when we're going to start the uh, puppet streams. Before we do those, I want to show you guys the fabrics I have, the the the, the furs I have, so you guys can pick which one we'll make the puppet out of. So maybe we'll do that uh, Friday or Saturday. Maybe we'll do that Saturday. Um. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that sometime this week. And then maybe Friday? Oh, if you guys heard that, I think that was someone turning on the hose. I think that's what that sound is. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no idea what that, what that was. No idea. Um, and I, so I also need to look into picking up uh, Choo Choo Charles. So we'll pro probably... Mm. So the uh, Elden Ring Endurance stream will... Uh, is okay if we do that next week? <laughs> Otherwise we can do it. Friday. I'm not opposed to doing that. Um, but I kind of want to just chill for this that week. <laughs> kind of rest. Because if we do the Elder Ring during the stream, it's like an 8 hour stream. I'm going to start that in the morning, not 7.30pm. <laughs> and stream until what, 3 in the morning? I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, I'll probably do that next week. And then I need to look into getting Choo Choo Charles. And uh, I think uh, next Sunday, next Sunday, I'll do uh, the Thigh Sounds for you guys. Um, the Thigh 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 Sounds. <laughs> the Thigh The Thigh Sounds. Be recorded a smart video. I'll do that. Oh, sorry. I'll do that uh, this next Sunday. After I shave my legs, I think we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do that Sunday. Okay. And then 
Friday. Um, should we play Coromon on Friday? Well, all right. Let me let me check. How much? How much is Choo Choo Charles right now? It's twenty bucks. Okay, that's not too bad. put on my wish list and I'll, I'll wait till this weekend to purchase it to see if it goes on sale just in case um if it doesn't then it's fine um just want to just want to wait see if it goes on sale if not it's fine but uh yeah we'll, we'll definitely play it next week i don't know how long the game is uh where my one of the boys played it uh, I, I has played it. Um, this person's review says they gave it a chance to finish it all. It took them 2.8 hours. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the, the review seemed to say it's about, like, three hours of gameplay, so I don't want to, oh, oh, I'll put on my wish list for this week, and, uh, see if it goes on sale, and then, uh, we'll play it next week, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, so Friday, hmm, Friday. Um, I kind of want to play Coromon on Friday. <laughs> I kind of want to play Coromon on Friday. Yeah, we'll play Coromon on Friday. I don't know how close we are to finishing Coromon either. Probably not too close. I think our guys are getting into level 40s. Right? Maybe they're in the 50s now, actually. Excuse me, sorry. Come on, burpee. I'm sorry. Okay. And Saturday. Uh, we'll play Stardew on Saturday. I was going to play Stardew uh, yeah, last night after we built, built the two big uh, rat guys in the Warhammer kit, but um, we, we built the whole kit. We built all 25. We still have to put together the giant rats for the pack masters, but those are just single piece like little models that you put on bases and I uh, don't have the packs they don't have bases right now. I uh, also need to find a place to put all these guys. <laughs> also, um I'm going to leave the Donathon incentives just active. Uh I'm just going to leave them around, um, so if we ever get more contributed towards the 3DO, um, I'll do these things. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with some more stuff uh, between 300 and fully funded, because um, I feel like I need, it could use more stuff there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we even had this, got as far as we did with the three, the, the, the Donathon. Um, I was expecting, I was like thinking, not expecting, but <laughs> just thinking that if we get it hit, were to hit any of these, it would just be 30 bucks because we were already at $22 and 44 cents or whatever it was. So, 
Um, the fact that he got hit 80 is blew my mind. It still blows my mind. I am so very thankful to uh, everyone that uh, that, that uh, has contributed towards the 3 year It means a lot. Thank you, guys. So this is another typical week so far. Uh, we might swap uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday out for Yukio, depending on uh, if if Libra still wants to play with me. <laughs> so uh, they're subject to change, but if nothing, if nothing, if if, if we don't, if they don't change. Uh, so tomorrow we're playing Mass Effect. Tuesday, if if it works. <laughs> uh, Tuesday we're playing Temtem. Thursday we're playing some more truck sim. Friday we're playing more Coromon, and uh, Saturday's more Starter, Stardew, Stardew Valley. <laughs> That's the plan for this next week, and then next week uh, we'll do the, the we'll do the uh, the week of the following week, not this week, but the following week we'll do uh, the Elden Ring stream and uh, Juju Charles. Apparently, Choo Choo Charles isn't too long, so we might just do a whole stream of just Choo Choo Charles, because I feel like if we get too far, if we get far enough that it's like a, t a two and a half hour stream regularly, right? If we get far enough in the game, and uh, we hit the two and a half hour mark, um, I might just keep going, because I feel like if we, <laughs> if I were to end at that point, there might not be that much of the game left, so that would probably just be one, one stream. For Choo Choo Charles and the Elder Ring Endurance stream, is this going to be like an 8 hour stream? Elder Ring stream? We might do twelve hour, a 12 hour Elder Ring stream, I don't know. <laughs> I would not be opposed to doing that. I had a lot of fun with Elder Ring after playing it with a controller. That was way easier <laughs> than playing it with a keyboard and mouse, for sure. For sure, and uh, I'm glad that my sore throat went away. I think it was just because I, I, the uh, AC dried out my sinuses or something. I don't know. I did talk a lot. Uh, over the course of three days, so. Uh, but I'm very glad it's not, it went away, because uh, I, I did, didn't want to have to cancel uh, ASMR stream, because I know a lot of people uh, um, follow for the ASMR, and I don't want to miss one. It's been a while since I've had skipped a stream, or canceled one, um, but uh So, also, I apparently <laughs> had forgotten to upload uh, Monday's um, VOD, uh, the Mass Effect, last time we played Mass Effect, I forgot to publish that VOD, so um, it's scheduled for tonight, I could, I could just post it, but I don't believe it's scheduled. Um, so yeah, the, the, the Dome of VODs will be up over the course of the next few days, um, over the course of this week, probably, 
and uh, yeah, because they <laughs> they're too long for me to upload in a big video, and so I have to cut them up and uh, yeah. <laughs> I got part one uploading this morning, and uh, it look it's taken all day to uh, finish processing. So, excuse me. But uh, yeah, I had tons of fun playing through Opposing Force. I did. to set up a premiere for the part one just because I haven't done the premiere for a while so I think we've done, we've done a premiere a few times but um, I'll set it up for 11 a.m. tomorrow nah maybe maybe 3 p.m. no because I'll still be going when we start the stream. So, noon. I'll set up for noon. <laughs> I'll set up for noon. There we go.
Fingers are gonna beat up from yesterday. <laughs> it's not really catching the, the fire. That's I apologize, it, but it's not a pleasant sound at all. One second. Sorry about that. the AC. Sorry if you guys can hear it. Uh, it's, hopefully it's not too loud. I caught that burp in time. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
So did you guys watch the, the Summer Games Fest? I was gonna watch it today, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hi, hey, sweetheart. How are you, dear? You doing okay? Those are okay for your bread. Thank you, thank you for the routine. <sighs> sorry, I keep yawning. I got this nibbles. I'm sorry. One second.
My lips are really dry today. I'm sorry. Which is probably not super great. <laughs> mm.
So I guess this anime season is almost over, right? I suppose. The next few weeks. Stuff will be ending. Uh Kaiju number I don't know how many episodes Kaiju number eight's going this season. I'm expecting twelve, but it could be going for twenty four. I I don't know. Shangri La went for twenty six, so although a couple of those were uh recap episodes so who knows who knows but it'll be sad because uh, it's uh when you can do over because it is pretty good it's pretty good i will into this uh, last episode that released saturday or today uh it was pretty good it's a pretty good episode <laughs> It was pretty cool. Um, there's uh, there's an anime. It's called like Grandpa and Grandma Young are Yar Young again. Something like that. Um, it's my favorite one of the season. Yeah, Grandpa and Grandma turn young again. It's got ten episodes out already. Uh, tenth episode released today or yesterday. It was today. Uh, the animation isn't super great, but it doesn't need to be. It's not. It's a slower comedy thing, you know? So it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but I mean, it is so good. There was one episode. It was episode, it was episode three or four where it just punches you in the gut <laughs> emotionally. And you're just like, oh my god goodness <laughs> I was not expecting this anime about a grandpa and grandma turning young again to go there but or you know hit you that hard in the feels but uh, it does it does this made me cry a few times <laughs> it has um, so if you ever see it it's pretty good it's on Crunchyroll um uh, as far as I know, it's, it's, it's on Crunchyroll, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but, um, it's real good. It's real good, it's cute. It's a nice, cozy, uh, nice, cozy Sunday afternoon, evening, uh, feels, you know? Or just, like, in the morning. What, whatever. <laughs> you should watch it, it's, co it's cozy. I like it a lot.
seventh. Uh, I don't sorry, I watched it this season. I'm waiting for slime. The new season of uh, the slime isekai to just be over, or like be all out, so I can just binge the whole thing. Because it it, 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 at least the last few episodes I watched, the first four episodes of the season, um, I get that it's probably important, like, plot information, but the last few episodes, they've just been sitting and talking, which is fine. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, right? But, like, I don't know. Bye bye bot. Bye bye bot. I don't want cheap viewers. I want real. <laughs> I want people. I want people. Even if there's one person here, that's fine. I'd prefer that over a bunch of fake v bots. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't. Sorry, this has been sitting here this whole time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I did it again. But it's been like what an hour. Great. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I did not mean to leave that up that long. Oh, sorry. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm just waiting for the slimy sick guy to be done, or maybe the next, next, next week I'll watch him. I don't know. I just don't. I don't like cliffhangers. I mean, I I get that they're like, well, because sometimes like, oh great, it's a cliffhanger, then you forget that you're about it the next day, and then you're like, oh yeah, the new episode's out, awesome. But like every single episode felt like a cliffhanger. I don't know. Well, not a cliffhanger. I just feel like nothing was happening. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Which is fine. They're setting stuff up right for the later in the season. So. I don't know. Done messy. Oh, was it the, the, the one where they eat monsters in the dungeon? I don't, I can't watch that one. I, I don't have Netflix. Hi, Foxtron. <laughs> Hi, dear. How are you? Hope you're doing okay. It's good to see you. Um. I'm doing okay. My sore throat is gone. Uh, my lips are just pretty dry today because uh, the AC's been on all day, so my, my lips and my hands are kind of chapped. I um, started to stream late because <laughs> uh, I was eating dinner. Like I, the by the time we had finished making dinner and I sat down to eat it, it was already 7.35, so I was already late anyway, so it took me a bit to eat it. <laughs> so, but I, I started streaming pretty much after I finished eating, so the stream will probably be going later than usual, but just because we started late. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, what else am I watching this season? No, I was I started the Nari no Yokai San, um, and uh, a condition called love, and uh, the train to the end of the world. I kind of want. So I watched the first episode of Train to the End of the World. I watched the first episode. Um, I was like, okay, this is when I'm gonna want to binge. I want to, sorry, 
I just top throwing around my chapstick. Loser Ranger. Oh, is that the is that the one about the Power Ranger minion that tries to infiltrate the Power Rangers to get their cool sword or something? I had heard about it. Um, I didn't see that one either. Um, but uh, yeah, I watched the first episode of Train Train Right Train to the End of the World. So I was like, I'm, I want to binge this. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to all be out. And then I'm gonna watch it all. Um, what else? Uh, oh, Sukimichi's getting a is it's currently airing, right? Season two has largely been kind of disappointing. Season two, I feel like, but I was watching back season one. It's like, uh guess this is okay <laughs> right but uh, now that it is about over uh, it's picking up that was a pretty slow season the uh, Demon Slayer season seems to be pretty good uh, my, my partner likes Demon Slayer more than I do I, I'm more excited for uh, Kaiju number 8 episodes than I am Demon Slayer. Personally. I just really like Kaiju. <laughs> um, what else? I am watching Chillin' in the World with Level 2 Super Cheap Powers. I know. It's probably stupid, right? Could be watching something better, but it's not the worst isekai it's not someone from earth being isekai it's someone from a different fantasy world getting isekai to a different fantasy isekai world and uh the op is pretty cute it's just it's really silly <laughs> it's just really silly um it's uh it's not it's it's, it's an easy watch it's not super action packed I suppose but it's it's a cozy isekai if that makes sense it's not too bad it's not I don't think it's a bad isekai in terms of isekai <laughs> um you could definitely do worse this season especially the worst do worse this season and the animation for to another world with level 2 super cheap power is actually pretty decent um there's the spice of remake ah I never seen. I know. I don't think I ever finished Spice and Wolf. I think I started it on uh, Funimation. I never finished it. Um, but uh, and uh, what else? Uh, the new Gate is also an isekai. Well, so apparently, it uh, the first episode is like, hey, this the main character, uh, th th the plot. The, the original setting was it was like a death game thing like so uh, like a not so leveling sort of online where they're all stuck in the game and if they die they die in real life so the main character went and soloed the whole bo end boss by himself and he saved everybody but after he beats the boss he passes out then he wakes up in a field uh, but he's still in the game world it's just 500 years after he beat the boss And, uh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> um, and, uh, the animation has fallen off a cliff uh, in terms of, like, quality. It's not unwatchable. I know it's a, no, uh, it's not gate. It's the new gate. <laughs> um, so be, it was a death game and then became... Uh, an isekai. <laughs> the first three episodes were okay. Apparently, I read in the uh, Crunchyroll comment under the last, the newest episode, apparently the whole studio's animation staff quit due to co poor uh, working conditions. So they've had to outsource the animation to uh, other people. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Which is 
something else. Um, and it's it's uh, not great. <laughs> it's not great. It's not as worse, not as bad as a death march. The death march isekai. Um, or like there was one. There's one airing this season that's just really. I did not jive uh, with it at all. Oh, where? What is it? No. Uh, no. Uh, the vanished former hero lives as he pleases. I just it bounced off it completely. Um, and the animation starts bad, like it, it's not decent and then gets really bad a few episodes later. It just starts not great and it, it's just, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. And then uh, I was watching Remonster, which I think Remonster started okay, uh, but uh, it's just... It, it bounced off it. I was, I was watching it weekly and I was like, I'm not actually enjoying this anymore. <laughs> I'm not actually enjoying this anymore, so uh, I'm not gonna watch it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's there's a few good, good ones this season on Crunchyroll. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, an Arc Demon still on my heart to love your elf bride. That one's cozy. It's cute. Um, surprisingly, chilling in another world with level 2 super cheap powers is okay. Um, I'm sure there's better ones this season I could be watching, right? But. Uh, it's decent. <laughs> for what it is, right? And, uh, Grandpa and Grandma turn, turn young again. I'm really enjoying that one in Kaiju number eight. Uh, all right, slime, right? Um, studio apartment, good lighting, angel included. I watched the first few episodes of this, on that. Um, I, I guess I bounced off it. Didn't uh, I was wasn't craving it like I do, uh, the Kaiju number eight or anything like that. And uh, Sukimichi Midnight Fantasy season two. And uh, train to the end of the world. I'm going to binge that when it's all out in a few weeks, if it goes to 12 episodes, um, which I'm excited to do. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's a few there's a, there's some decent ones this season. They're not. I mean, this season isn't as stacked as the last few with Free Rin and Shangri La, right? So. I don't think anything could compare to that. Maybe when uh, AO, uh, A, uh, AOT ended, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll find out what's airing next season in a few weeks. I think, maybe, maybe. I have no, I do no idea what's airing this season. No idea.
Maybe you never got past season three. Mm -hmm. I only, <laughs> I only binged it. I I binged like all of it that was out at the time. I think that was up to season three. I don't think season four was out yet. Um, no, it definitely wasn't. Uh, I binged it in like two weeks, <laughs> so I could talk to my now partner about it, who is now my partner about it. Uh, years ago now, I guess three years. Three years? Two years? Two and a half years ago? So, this is the only reason I watched it. <laughs> um, I kind of like it. It's a flesh mecha. That sounds gross. But, you know, it's mecha. But they think of giant flesh robots. Um, like, if people, someone says, no, it's not mecha. It's like, this is literally... Hitler is the guy that cuts to their faces inside a cockpit at the base of his neck, right? Um, well, they're fighting. Yeah, it's Mecha. <laughs> it's flesh mech fights. Right? It was Because that's the feeling I got when I was watching it anyway. It's like, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I definitely, you know, you, you never finished it. I only finished it so I could talk to Evelyn about it. So, uh, yeah. Cause I, I binged it all in like two weeks about. Um, yeah, because that was the one the time my, my room flooded. <laughs> and I had to like clean my room for a whole day that was that was a while ago I think my dad left the hose on or something and then the water seeped into my room through the wall like the gap between the wall and the, the floor because my room's in the basement and uh, I woke up to go to the bathroom one more it's that morning and I swing my legs over the bed sploosh sploosh it's like Oh, great. I'll see what this when I wake up in the morning. Because it was like, it's 5 a.m. So I went to the bathroom and then I got back in bed. <laughs> and then uh, I had to, like, clean up my room. And then we had to uh, air it out. So I had a fan on for, like, three days straight. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thankfully, none of my electronics got damaged, so it only happened because somebody left the hose on, probably, and then, like, we didn't even have to, like, suck all the water up and, like, dump it outside. It all seeped back into the ground, so, uh, yeah. It was an interesting week, for sure. For sure. For sure.
Also, <laughs> the uh, the VOD from last night did get muted in parts. So, uh, I'm guessing it was probably the jazz. The jazz video. I didn't think it was Kevin's music, but maybe it was the YouTube ads. I don't know. Um, but uh, it got muted. Then uh, Twitch was like, hey, we noticed you got a bunch of uh, mutes in the in the in with it within 24 hours. Because when I play Elden Ring, apparently the intro to Elden Ring has like, music that Twitch flags, so it got muted. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so last night's VOD, I'm going to cut up in like a few days. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to private the uh, highlights uh, just to be safe. Um, yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> but I am honestly excited to play more Elder Ring. I am. I am. It was a, way more fun playing with a, a controller than a keyboard. Oh my goodness. It was way more fun playing with a controller. Way easier, too. It actually felt like I could do stuff. <laughs> Holy smokes. Holy moly. Yeah, so I, I've watched all of AOT, but it was never one that I was like, oh, this is going to be one of my favorites. I don't think it is one of my favorites. Because um, it would have to be Angel Beats. <laughs> uh, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Uh, Violet Evergarden. Uh, Overlord. Overlord is probably objectively probably the worst one on my political thriller ish on the on the end, near the end. Yeah, yeah, it's more of a political thriller at the end, which is fine, but it just was never one of my favorites. I don't think it's bad. But uh, if someone asks me about my favorite like top five. Or it'll probably never come to mind at all. <laughs> probably not. There's just too many that, uh, like, I'm, I'm more of a, uh, <laughs> I was talking about this before, but I'm more of a uh, slice of life romance guy. I thought I would be all about the punchy punchies and the screaming and then the energy blasts and all that stuff, but nope. I want to watch an old couple turn young again and go finally get to go on their honeymoon. I want to watch that instead. <laughs> I want to see that instead of uh, the two guys fight in space. And like punch one, uh, one gets punched, and he like falls to the planet, and there's this giant crater in the earth. I want to watch an elderly couple go shopping <laughs> in an anime. Give me more of that stuff, <laughs> or like a Senko song, or. Um, I mean, I don't mind it, because I, I, I was really enjoying Kaiju number 8, right? I, lo I love Kaiju, so... Uh, Godzilla was, like, one of my favoritest things ever. Also, but, yeah, I've never watched JJK. Jujutsu Kaisen. I've never watched it. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen it. Um, if it, it might sound weird, but there are shows that I don't want to watch, so I can't, I can say that I've never seen them before, because it's fun. 
because it's fun. Because people go, why you never seen that? Oh my goodness. You should do that. It's like, well, maybe sometime. Maybe someday. Maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day. Don't, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel with some shows. Second season? Mm. I mean, I've heard that the animation in, in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is pretty good, so. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm looking through my, my watch list <laughs> on Cartoon World. There's a lot from all the other seasons that I never finished. But, uh, I can go finish. <laughs> um, there was an anime, I guess the most recent anime, that made me, like, binge the whole thing in, like, one sitting. The first one that did that to me was probably, probably Shield Hero. I binged all of Shield Hero at the time. It was the first or second season, uh, in like a day, two days. Um, which, um, I liked the first season of Shield Hero. I don't remember what happened in the second season. Twenty books, three and dozen movies, shows, and anime to watch, right? Right? Well, some of these probably aren't even worth watching, but, um, like, I, I never finished The Galaxy Next Door, or, um, I still have to finish The Ancient Magus's, Magus's Bride, uh, I never finished To Your Eternity, Taxi. Like some of these I don't even remember, but I've watched like eight episodes of. <laughs> so, holy boy, holy moly. <laughs> uh, like I still have to finish a Rumakun. Welcome to Demon School, a Rumakun. I still have to finish that one. I never finished that one. I never did. I never finished it. It's probably definitely clear. By the way, it's out of here. <coughs> Excuse me, sir.
Do I have a reading list? Um, no, I just have books. <laughs> I like to read. I have some Halo novels that you have to get. I need to get through at some point. Uh, I have some manga. I have uh, like the first nine volumes of Call of the Night. I think up to volume nine, and uh, I still need to read those. <laughs> um, I need to look into getting the next volume of uh, Uncle from Another World. Um, because I never got to finish it on the anime because uh, we canceled our Netflix subscription before it could finish. If I remember correctly, like halfway through the production of the season, it got put on hi indefinite hiatus, so. I don't even know if it's all done, um, but I've definitely read far enough in the manga to probably finish the first season, so, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if Uncle from Another World is objectively good, but, uh, I, I, en I enjoy the humor of it, uh, uh, it personally, it's kind of funny, kind of funny. Uh, spoiler alert! There's there's a, there's a scene where they're fighting a dragon or something, and uh, Uncle uh, kills the dragon and then pours like a phoenix's f fire on it or something that he had in a vial, and then the dragon comes back to life as this ultra mega strong dragon phoenix and everybody's like what are you doing when well, you're crazy he's like now i can actually have fun <laughs> beating up this big thing and he beats it up so yeah this is kind of funny i i i i, I enjoy reading enjoyed reading it of, of what i've read of it anyway and uh uh yeah um, I have the uh, Pokemon Adventure manga, the first few volumes of that. I have the box set. I got it for Christmas or something? Either Christmas or my birthday. I need to read those. Um, I don't even remember if I finished the first volume. I think I might have finished the first volume. I need to just sit down and read Call of the Night. <laughs> I never actually finished watching the anime for it either. Uh, if I even ever started watching the anime, I need to, so I need to finish reading it, and then I can so I can watch the anime. Um, yeah. Of Halo novels I need to read. I have had one that started years ago that I never finished. I need to read. I need to finish reading that too. <laughs> I go outside and sit and read, but it's been in the 90s for this whole week, so. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll, 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 I'll uh, try to read my volumes of uh, Call of the Night. <laughs> I think I read up to volume 5. I might start at like volume three. I, I don't remember. So also the problem is <laughs> I don't remember where I left off with uh, Call of the Night. What what volume I left off on? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
I need to go through and clean up my watch list too. Get sure for reading and stuff. Get sure I control for how I can reading, right? Yeah. Because I, I used to like read at like a bu the bus stop or whatever, but you know, I haven't rode a bus in a while, so. Like, it doesn't take very long to get to a volume of manga, either. So, um, I was having fun reading, uh, the Overlord light novels along with the audiobook. Because someone, I don't know who, <laughs> uploaded, like, the first 12 volumes audiobooks onto YouTube. And they're, like, 8, 12-hour long videos. So, um, and the person that reads audiobooks... At least on Audible, I think. Um, is the voice... The, 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 the voices... Uh, Ein's in the dub. So, um, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Of the first two volumes of Overlord. I just really like Overlord. <laughs> Uh, it was one of the first animes that I watched when I was getting into anime. I think I watched it after Ari Ferreira, which... Oh. Or maybe I watched Ari Ferreira after Overlord, because, like, I need more stuff like Overlord, but... Nah. Nah. I just really like the, the world building and stuff in uh, Over Overlord. Um... It's a, it's a good time. I really like, I, I just like Overlord. <laughs> I'm excited for the movie. Uh, the uh, Holy Kingdom arc or whatever, it's called, whatever it is. They skipped it in uh, the fourth season to adapt it as a film. So. Yeah. Like, I, I've binged <laughs> all four seasons of Overlord. Uh, probably a hand, like, a, more, uh, at least five times, probably. At least the first season. I've probably watched the second season the least. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a fast reader either. At least I don't think so. But I, th I think I heard that there's a there's an anime that's getting adapted. It's about being a VTuber or something, and like I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. I guess it's because it's summertime. I'm getting an influx of advertisements for uh, 
don't drink and drive ads or drive safe because <laughs> my state has this initiative called uh, zero fatalities or whatever because their, their goal is to have zero fatalities uh, zero like vehicular related fatalities in a year which is very ambitious but you know be cool if it happens but Fujimoto movie I don't know what that is look back is coming out on your B date that's cool that's pretty neat Chainsaw Man. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Excuse me. Gracious, sorry. So I guess I missed the, the, the summer game show live by a few hours this morning. It did, was it this morning? I don't know. Maybe not.
So we've been inundated with these ads for like, hey, don't drink and drive, drive safe. Do it. Um, but like, it's just not great. <laughs> They're going to cringe from what I, well, from what I've seen. It's like, oh, man. Like, it just comes from a good place, right? You don't want people to get hurt on the road. That's great. But please, <laughs> please don't say uh, driving without a seat belt gives you ick. That's just, I don't like that sentence. I, I don't like that. <laughs> just say, you will die. You can die if you don't put on your seat belt. <laughs> because uh, when I was in school, when I was in high school, they did a um, it was either for driver's ed or it was just like a school-wide assembly. Um, about the safe driving, right? This initiative from the state for safe driving. And like, uh, there was a video where they talked, or there was a story. I don't remember. Is that this, um... <laughs> Talk about somebody didn't put on their seatbelt and they become a projectile in the, in the event of a car crash and you you hurt other people, right? Right? <laughs> it's just like, okay, I get that you want to be like, you know, be trendy and the people are like, haha, well, we know what the kids say these days, right? They don't say epic anymore. They say, just the ick. <laughs> um, but just tell them, hey, you will, you could die if you don't put on your seatbelt, and if you don't, you become a projectile, and you will hurt other people in the vehicle. So after that, after I, for a good while after that, um, assembly, if I was getting it in the car. And my sister didn't have their seatbelt on. I'd be like, "Get in the seatbelt. I'm not. Go you're not. I will not let you kill me." <laughs> it was like super serious about it, and then um, I guess I forgot about it. But I, we were going somewhere, and it's like, "Hey, put on your seatbelt, sister." And my mom's like, "Yeah, he doesn't want you to kill him. <laughs> he doesn't want you to become a projectile." It's like that'd be yeah, that'd be terrifying. But like. Yeah, it was, you know, sheesh, just tell them like it is, right? That's how it's, uh, anti-smoking ads worked, right? You show them people that had to get surgery on their esophagus or whatever, right? Just get the pants off them. It works. Also, <laughs> good go on another little rant here. About the you you know the, the the truth initiative these ads, these anti vaping ads, like I don't even see anti smoking ads anymore. It's all about anti vaping, and I, I get that they, it, there's probably people that work at the truth initiative that want to help people, right? But like a lot of these ads are just obnoxious, <laughs> and honestly make uh like. It feels like it makes me want to vape to spike them. You know, I'm not going to. I don't even want to go anywhere near a vape, right? Personally, I don't judge anyone that does do it. it it's your, your own life, right? I just don't want to do that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but these, these truth ads are awful. They're so bad. <laughs> um, there's a video... Because I get them all the time. I'm probably going to get one after uh, this stream. Uh, how badly smoking affects you. Yeah. And the robot voice. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And it's probably also part of the vaping so new. Right? Like smoking tobacco has been around for 
ever, right? And vaping's pretty new. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's healthier than smoking. I imagine in some ways it probably is, right? But I, I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I just know that anti vaping ads are obnoxious and probably a waste of time and taxpayer money. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're just awful. I hate them. They're so bad. They're so bad. I mean there's a few that are really effective. But, like, most of them that I've been getting is, like, this is you after your dad catches you vaping. This this is you in the car ride home after you get caught vaping. Oh, my goodness. Look how embarrassing this is. Oh, my goodness. And it's like, dude, Google, you know how old I am. <laughs> Why are you giving this to me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're just more obnoxious than, like, especially that the one. There's metal in your lungs. <laughs> like he, the, the the line is unironically that's metal, and you know people say that's metal to be like that's that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, it's like that's metal, and to show you how, if you if you vape, you could be inhaling toxic chemicals into your lungs, like nickel or lead or whatever. And he's like, that's metal in your lungs. And just show you how scary that is, we made this giant metal monster. Ah! Like, I have the thing you memorized. <laughs> Something that isn't air, if you really need. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Yes, that, make, that makes sense. Yeah. Like that, 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 how is that supposed to get you not to want to vape? If you vape, what, the giant metal monster is going to hunt you down and then shoot spears of metal into your chest? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't think, I don't even, I don't think it was that high here. But that's also because I'm in, I am near the heart of uh, the Mormon corridor. So I imagine uh, there were people that vape. Like one of my, one of my friends from high school vapes or vaped. I, I don't know. So, and he's cool. He's cool. Like I, I do not, like no one that, right? Because growing up Mormon, you're like anyone that, they're taught that like anyone that, drinks or smokes or wears th th their shorts too too high or whatever you know, whatever right there's like a really bad person and you should be scared of them <laughs> well not scared of them but you should avoid them right so um yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to get over that, right? Because that's so how it was taught, like, my whole life. Um, and, uh, it took me to, like, start working with people that, like, used nicotine patches or did, had to have, like, chew every morning. And that they weren't, like, like, terrible people. They were nice to me. <laughs> Most of them. Right? There was one guy that I had to work with that was like kind of weird. <laughs> Thinking back about it, he was kind of he was, he was pretty weird. But everyone else was pretty cool. <laughs> like they weren't they were mean. They swore, but like they, were, they weren't bad people. Right? So it was like, oh man, wow. People who smoke or whatever aren't terrible people. And people who swear aren't terrible people. So it took me to have to like work with people like that. It's a job. 
<laughs> I mean, I was like fresh out of high school, so. But also, um, growing up, <laughs> it's probably, uh, it, it's embarrassing, but like I grew up before I became a teenager, I was like terrified of turning 13 because then I would become a monster. I'd, I'd be get in arguments with my parents all the time. I'd slam my door. I'd get grounded every week. I would, <laughs> you know, do all these rebellious things. And then I turned, I was, I became a teenager. And then I was like halfway through my teens. I was like, wait, what? I didn't become a weird, terrible teenager monster that disobeyed their parents all the time. <laughs> Oh, it's just not on screen? Oh, right. Sorry about that, Fox Shot. You were right. I uh, turned it off for. Uh... Hi, Maury. Hi, dear. Hope you're doing okay. It's good to see you, sweetheart. Mwah. Um. I don't know what made me think that, that I would. It would be the second I became a teenager. Like, I just thought all teenagers were, like, awful. And argue with their parents all the time and snuck out of the house or whatever and <laughs> slammed their bedroom door and uh, that, I didn't do that and then I was like halfway through I was like 15 or 14 or something I was like wait a minute I'm still me <laughs> I don't know why I thought that um, I don't know what convinced me that that would happen. I don't know what what did. I don't know what did, but I, I was what I that's <laughs> that's what I was scared of. It didn't happen. I was just normal. I was still me. <laughs> but like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please go go follow Mori. Mori is a, such a sweetheart. She's great. We love her. She's a, she's also a strummer. She's a cute strummer. Please give Rory lots of love. Pray, please, pray, please. Uh, when she streams in, in seven months. <laughs> of course, Mori. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I had a I developed a sore throat yesterday. I woke up with a I woke up last yesterday morning uh, with a sore throat, like a really bad one. I probably was just dehydrated. Um, but, uh, it went away that evening, so didn't have to cancel stream today. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I hope we're doing okay, Maury. And of course. Of course. Your PNG is so cute. <laughs> I love her so much. It's great. But I guess if you grow up in Mormonism, you're kind of gullible to begin with. I came in your peak brain run. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It happens to the best of us, right? <laughs> it's okay. I was just glad I finally got to catch a Mori stream.
No, you are Mori. You are. I had a moth in my room the other day. <laughs> That's right. I think it was during the donathon. There's a moth in my room. I don't know where it went. I think it was a moth. Could have been a mosquito. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it went. I haven't seen it since, so it's either dead or somewhere else. <laughs> Sniffers? Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second. There you go, boy. I hope that was okay for you. I hope that was uh, enough sniffers. I can't do that too long because it makes me lightheaded. But thank you for the redeemed here. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, yeah, you, you can do ASMR with a, with a HyperX Quadcast. You can do it. Um, I have a fuzzy mic cover over mine. I also have a Excuse me. <laughs> a foam one right here. Oh, heck of a burp. Oh, gosh, those are the worst burps. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the, the knob on the back has, uh, symbols above it. Um, this is a HyperX Quadcast. I've had it for four years, three years, and uh, hasn't given out on me yet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got mine on sale when I bought it, it was like $100 uh, for sale, uh, it was on sale for 100 bucks, something like that, or 150 I don't remember. Mine's the one that lights up solid red. It's not the rainbow one. I didn't even know there was a rainbow one. Um, the the knob on the back here. The knob on the back here. <laughs> on this side. If uh, you're if the mic is facing you, it's on this side. It looks 
the symbol looks like a cell going through uh, mitosis. Or like, um, not the letter eight, but the Venn, Venn diagram. Uh, it's all the way on the left. Right here. And that's, that's binaural mode. I have no idea what the other three do. Uh, most of the time I use, uh, the second, the one that looks like Pac-Man. I, I use that one most of the time for regular streams. Um, now this this is a HyperX Quadcast. It it's decent. It's a decent microphone. I just can't do like the, the ear tappy things or anything. I can't do ear eating. I can do mouth sounds. Uh, Strilla taught me how to do mouth sounds. <laughs> uh, I haven't done mouth sounds in a while. My mouth's kind of dry today. Yeah, refill my my water after stream. Um, but yeah, <laughs> tell me that's the thing. Oh, it's the Uppies emote. Is it cute? Oh, what the mic? No, it is just plug and play. It is plug plugs and play, plugs, plugs and plays. It just it just plug it in. As far as I can tell, you just plug it in, and it does its thing. There's no fancy app that you have to download or anything. Just plug it in. I didn't know that it had binaural mode when I bought it, so I was like, "Well, I want to try streaming ASMR. That sounds like cool, fun, because I listen to ASMR all the time." So I was like, "Okay, I need to find an ASMR microphone." And then I was like, okay, cheap mic ASMR microphone. And then there's one a video like, here's how to make an ASMR microphone. You get an old this, this pair of headphones, you rip it apart, and then you put some silicone ears in here, and then you, you, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a binaural microphone. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's a little complicated. And then I found out this gooper right here has a binaural mode. And then I got so excited. <laughs> I got so excited. I was like, oh, I can do ASMR. I can do ASMR. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got so excited. I got so stoked when I found out that I didn't have to buy. A different another microphone or uh, the, the, like kit bash uh the, the, the ramshackle a uh, some uh binaural, mic binaural microphone <laughs> you just have one <laughs> hmm
Mm-hmm. 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 Really kind of for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's. It, uh. It can be exhausting. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Some nights it's more takes all it out of me. Um. Uh, yeah. It, 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 it's. Like anything, I think it takes some getting used to for sure. Um, but you definitely have to want to do it. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't. I feel like you wouldn't be streaming if you didn't want to, because it's, you know, it's not a job, right? But you know what I mean. <laughs> it also depends on your internet too. Like if your internet, if your upload speed kind of sucks, um, your stream, like, it's, like, before I had fiber, and had a wired connection, <laughs> I was streaming off Wi-Fi, um, uh, the streams would die, they would cut out, they still do sometimes, um, but, uh, it, it, I mean, I've been doing this for well over a year now, almost two years. Uh, no, uh, the in like August, the last week of August is when I started doing this. I think in uh, twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. Like the first week of August into October. I'm pretty sure I don't have like the exact date. It might have been in October, in like August eighteenth, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of my earlier VODs was just me sitting there playing the game. And, which is fine, right? It's not bad. But uh, definitely <laughs> want to talk more. Um, yeah, it, it, it takes getting used to for sure. For sure. I'm glad I do this. I'm glad I started streaming because I've met lots of neat people. <laughs> lots of cool people. And the cool people that I did meet before I started streaming, if I didn't meet them, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. I don't know what I'd be doing. Probably still working at Walmart. I don't know. <laughs> Something different. Um, so, you know. It's just cool. <laughs> I've met lots of cool people, a lot of cool people, that I wish I could watch like all of their streams all day. It sucks. <laughs> I can't watch all of them. Because um, I want to. Lots of cool people. One thing that is a, the, the most annoying part about streaming to me is all of the freaking uh, people trying to zombie graphics and stuff. It's just annoying. <laughs> I entertained one for a few months or like a month because 
um, I didn't, I felt bad about, like, blocking them, but, like, they would only, like, I, so, whenever I get friend requests on Discord, it's always from accounts that joined that Discord server that I'm in, uh, like, within a week, um, the date of them joining is within a week of me getting a friend request, and so I just block them, <laughs> because, <laughs> There's no reason to, um, and, uh, to entertain them. Uh, I, I, I tried, I, I talked to one, and like, hey, you want graphics? I noticed that you stream on Twitch nights. Do you want graphics? It will help you get more viewers for your, and, like, banners for, like, uh, about section and stuff. It's like, well, uh, I don't have money right now, so, uh, I'm not looking to, uh, do that right now. It's like, oh, that's okay, you can pay, uh, it's not, it's affordable. They never told me the price in the message. It's, like, it's affordable, you can pay half up front or whatever. I was like, no, I, I'll, uh, maybe, maybe after I get my first Twitch paycheck. And this was, like, really early. <laughs> and like, oh, okay. And then they messaged me while I was watching, like, a YouTube video, like, a video essay <laughs> about... I don't remember what the video essay was about, but it was like, oh, I'm doing okay. They were like, how are you? Um, I was like, I'm doing good. I'm watching this video essay about this. It's really cool. You want the, you want, and like, oh, okay, nice. It's like, yeah, you want the link to it? Like, uh, shirt. <laughs> so I read it with them. It's like, isn't it cool? And, uh, and then they, like, stop messaging me for, like, weeks at a time and like hey you remember me <laughs> it's like, okay fine you don't actually want to be friends with me just go away they're just they're just annoying and i'm sure people that don't even stream get uh dms from them too uh, that's what i'm pretty sure i have a setting on twitter where i have to you have to be following you and you have to be following me to for you to message me something like that but uh yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that right there. I don't even know if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, it's actually been two two hours and almost twenty minutes, so uh, we might look for someone to raid here pretty soon. Um, so if you have any uh, trigger requests, please get them in soon. Function of our speech is okay. Probably raid Sucrose tonight. Probably. Excuse me, sorry. So next week, 
not this not not this week uh, but next week we'll uh, we'll it I'll uh, pick up uh, Choo Choo Charles this weekend and uh, we'll do the eight hour Elden Ring stream it'll probably be um, go roll. okay Mori I'll get that to you in a second um, and uh, we'll do the eight hour maybe we'll do a 12 hour Elden Ring stream I don't know <laughs> I don't know um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just play Elden Ring for a really long time and then uh, I'll do the pre-recorded uh, Thigh Sounds ASMR uh, this Sunday. Uh, next Sunday. This, this, this upcoming Sunday. Not, not today Sunday, but next Sunday. Um, I'll do that. We'll do it that, that week. Okay, more we? Good morning. Hope that was okay for you. Thank you for the red team. Thank you, thank you, dear. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Okay. Who, who's live? Is Teeny live? If Teeny is live, all right, Teeny. I haven't seen Teeny in a, in a while, feels like anyway. Okay, she is not. Teeny is not alive. You're barely able to stay awake? Okay. <laughs> you should get some sleep, Maury. Don't forget to brush your teeth, sweetheart. Hey, Haku. Well, you're a good boy. Okay, okay. Uh, we went a bit later than usual tonight because I was late. Or like 30 minutes late. Uh, dinner. I didn't sit down to eat dinner till like 7.35 so it was already late um yeah <laughs> but hi Haku hi dear how are you doing sweetheart you doing alright I hope you had a good weekend Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.
a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yes, you are. Such a very good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Hako. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you for the redeem, Haku. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Alright, let's see. Anyone else? That's all right. Probably read Sukos today. Uh, I, don't, I don't think LT is live. No, guilty is not live. Okay, we'll wait. Sucrose. Um, Sucrose is doing some uh, ASMR role play, role, <laughs> role play scripts today. She's very good at ASMR. I got her to do it. Um, I called it. She's got the ASMR sauce. She she's got it. <laughs> <coughs> Um, yeah, she's great. We love Sucrose. Everybody knows Sucrose at this point, for sure. I don't, hopefully, because <laughs> she, she's great. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for some Mass Effect Three. Um, please get some good sleep, Haku, Momori, Foxtrot, um, Nobby, Nimbus, Astrola. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you, and everyone that was lurking. Thank you. I appreciate you all so very much. And uh, again, thank you to everyone who uh, contributed to the 3 do over the course of uh, the Donathon the past few days. Uh, it means a lot. I didn't expect to get that far, as far as 80 bucks. I thought we could maybe hit 30, just because uh, we were already pretty close to that one. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, it means the world that you uh, spend time with me to buy silly little rambles about woolly mammoths and rat balls <laughs> thank you guys I appreciate it a lot good night fox trot I'm gonna go to sleep and uh I'm not really hungry so I, I'm probably just gonna watch an episode of an anime and go to bed I'm kind of sleepy um but uh, good night Maury sweetheart please get some good dreams please have good dreams I'll go have good dreams uh, thank you for a subway, dear. It's always good to see you. And uh, thank you for the lovely stream earlier. And I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, let me get to right to up here. I need to swap my headphones, so I'll be right back. Tomorrow I have to find a place to put these these skaven we put together yesterday. Thank you, Foxtrot. I'll do my best. I, d I think I have another dream about school. <laughs> Being in high school uh, last night it was really weird. I couldn't, like, I had to go back to school, but my schedule was the same. Like, my classes. The class periods were the same, and I didn't remember them. Like, I remembered the first period, but I didn't remember what class I had to go to for second period. And so I was so I was talking to somebody in my dream, and like, oh yeah, you can go up to the front office. Um, I think it was in, like, the computer lab trying to find, log into my school account uh, to, like, find my schedule. Um, at, in my computer lab, but it wasn't working or something. So I had to, I was running around this this giant maze of a school in my dream, right? <laughs> Trying to find the front office. And then I was like, oh, I'm on this end of the school. I gotta run to the other end of the school to get to the office before the bell rings. Oh no. Oh no. I hate those dreams so much.
But uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, that probably just peaked the mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, please get some good sleep. Don't forget to brush your teeth, floss, use mouthwash. Um, eat something if you haven't yet. Stay hydrated. I gotta go fill my water bottle. Um, be, be nice to Sucrose. She's a big sweetheart. We love her. She's great. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, again, I'm leaving the Donathon incentives active indefinitely till the 3 do is funded. I feel bad. I, it doesn't feel right taking them away. Like, oh, sorry. You didn't give me enough money. Um, <laughs> I don't like how that feels. So we're, we're leaving it up. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, good night. Um, sorry, I'm just stalling for the time to run out. Um, sorry I was late today. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll see if we... I don't think we'll wrap up Mass Effect 3 tomorrow, but we'll see. I'll repeat time time soon. <laughs> but good night, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye!